Unreal Engine launched the medieval scene, so this was made by Quixel and are available for all Unreal Engine users. So you can use for free if you are an Unreal Engine developer and you can check how this forest and the medieval scene was made. The medieval part is about the village and you can create these houses using the Quixel assets and a lot of tutorials about how you can create your village, your house, the roof, create your own scene are available for you in the Quixel channel. So you can have grass, trees, a lot of fences, blueprint for roads. So this part is about the modular pieces. This is a separate map for create your own house. Then you can merge all the assets for your final house. This is the beginning of our village, modular pieces, a lot of foliage. And here is the tutorial about the blockout. So you can create your own village with low poly assets and then bring your final meshes for create a believable world without spend a lot of time. This is the blockout and this will be the final version. So blockout are very important for prototype. In this, we're going to see some cinematic of this medieval village and a well-made asset. We have the daytime and nighttime. We have a dynamic illumination, a lot of post-process, effects, fire, volumetric clouds. We have new screen space, global illumination, plastic features of the Unreal Engine. These have some horror features, so you can download and verify everything. All these houses is in a separated map, so you can modify and save as a new house. And the blueprints for you create your own house are available as tutorial in the Quixel channel. I will put the link of the playlist in the description so you can check how everything was made. This is using the modular pieces so you can create directly using the Unreal Engine. You don't need the Maya or Blender, you can do everything in the Unreal Engine. In this tutorial, you will see how to create the roof. This is the Quixel Mixer material for the roof. Are using the smart materials for the roof. You can bring back to Unreal Engine, add the displacement direct in the mesh to save performance and add small details. This foliage part are available for us and have the meshes, the master material with wind effect and they're changing the subsurface and the albedo colors. This was made using procedural spawner so you can have a forest in less than one minute and everything have a lot of content and a well-made asset. In this tutorial, Victor, the lead artist from Quixel, explain to us how you can create your own village house and add a lot of details to recreate a believable environment. So this was using the procedural spawners and a lot of Quixel mega scans. This is a house of an old man and you can check how he creates the scene and how to add more realism to your scene. You can add later the small foliage around the house for create a believable scene. In this part is about the illumination, so you can create your own dynamic illumination. This use the screen space global illumination like Far Cry using the screen space ambient occlusion for the night time, so you can check on and off and distance field ambient occlusion to add more realism to your scene. So this is on and off. Unreal Engine 4.26 have sky atmosphere, so this project was to showcase this feature too. We have the dynamic time of day now, and this was using the new sky atmosphere. Of course, we have the rain, we have the cloud, we have the volumetric cloud to create the rain effect, and also the project are few with the sound effects. It is very immersive. I will put the link in the description so you can check out everything. This was the yearly time of day tests. And also we have this, a lot of small details in the illumination. And everything is have almost one hour of pure content. So if you like, download this asset. So I hope you like this video. If you like, 
give the like or not the dislike and subscribe. I see you soon. Bye.